started to be weather like today. Temperatures in the mid-70s, and we also had a cool, crisp morning. I mean, this is fall weather, and if you like fall weather, well, that was your weekend. But unfortunately, not as soon as I unfortunately, it's really going to be a nice week coming up. Plenty of sunshine. It's just going to be getting a little bit warmer. We're not quite finished with that warm weather just yet. Look on the our max track and <laughs> some ground clutter. That's the only thing. I mean, it looks like rain. I wish it were, but no, just some ground clutter that comes in whenever we have a cool, calm night like what we have right now. That radar beam gets bent down towards the surface and it kind of interacts with the trees or maybe some bugs or something like that. And that's kind of what it's picking up right now. But no, no rain on the max track, no rain for a while. Here's our satellite and obviously just cloud streaming through, mostly high, thin, cirrus, nothing that can produce any kind of precipitation as blocking high pressure sits over this section of the country. Pretty cool to see how the, the wind pattern is kind of bringing this clockwise flow. That's how you know this is high pressure. Whereas if you look out towards the west, counterclockwise flow. Look at this complex. It's moving through Nebraska, making its way into South Dakota this fall. Sioux Falls really about to get pounded by some really heavy rain, but on top of that, severe thunderstorms overnight. Not a good situation for them. Active weather tends to follow the cold front, but it also has to do with where the winds are coming out of. Transporting moisture. That's what this green represents right here. That's where the bulk of the moisture sits in the country at this time. As we go throughout the week, cold front gets a little bit closer to us, but this high pressure ridge does not break down, does not move east. So therefore, the active weather remains in the midsection of the country where the cold front sits and where the bulk of the moisture sits. Well, that will eventually get to us, but it's going to take its time. High pressure building off towards the east, cold front gets a little bit closer, active weather remains just around the Ohio River Valley. So. Models are kind of picking up on that. Going into Thursday and Friday, look where all the rain is. Well to the north, while we just get clipped with maybe a few showers totaling anywhere between a tenth of an inch, maybe even less. It's probably all we're going to be seeing throughout the weekend. Not a lot of rain expected until that high pressure can get on out of here. Abnormally dry for Ballard and Carlisle, that's less than 1% of the state abnormally dry. No drought for us yet, but if we keep having weeks like what we had last week, this week, Things are going to be a lot of the same. We're going to be seeing a lot of this move eastward, and that's not what we want, especially as we're getting into fire season. So let's hope for the best, get some more rain in the forecast. Until then, really, it's just going to be a lot of cloud coverage moving in, smidge more humid, temperatures definitely picking up by the middle of the week. So for the frost and freeze days, let's talk about that for a minute, because we've been talking about the heat, but today we had, or I should say yesterday, we did have our first frost in some areas, but Lexington doesn't typically get the first frost until the middle of the month. But if we keep getting temperatures like what we've had, I doubt that's going to happen. Hopefully we get another big cold front that moves in. All right, so obviously my uh, graphics didn't get the memo that it is the next day. Temperature is obviously going to warm up throughout the week and then get a little bit of a dip as we get into the weekend. Clear skies, calm night, and some patchy morning fog. That's going to lift. Mostly sunny. Beautiful afternoon with temperatures in the upper 70s. As we go throughout the eight day, notice how things will change, especially the rain chances. Those will get a little bit higher as we get into the end of next week. And then eventually we'll start to see, well, a good looking weekend. Despite the fact that we have to dodge some showers, we are uh, going to be cooling down. So obviously some cool fall weather on approach. More LAX 18.